reason why he, his name Takeoff because he used to do everything in one take. Movie maker, you had to like record one pass. Anybody mess up on one ad lib or anything, we had to start it all the way over. And that's how Takeoff got one take because he'll do his whole verse and not mess up and we'll mess up and have to start him over. This is a very, very sad story out of Houston, Texas. Takeoff, who is a third of the Migos rap group, sadly and regretfully is no more. Most of you have already heard this by now. Over here, even in bad situations, we try to learn from those bad and sad situations uh, to see how we can promote a message that is progressive and forward thinking. I've been thinking about this all day and it's really one of those situations that you find yourself just trying to understand how this could happen to what so many people say was a good person. And I've been thinking about what it is that we can learn from this very reckless incident. All the reports thus far implies that there is no reason why this man should be deceased. We've heard nothing but positive things about the brother. So what can we learn? And I want to start off by saying, take off. His name in and of itself motivates. The energy behind his name inspires flight. It inspires getting into motion. It inspires traveling. To take off is to elevate. So the essence of this man and his overall being was about moving from one place to another and seeing how his life was cut short so quickly. To take off is really to elevate quickly. And we never know how much time we have here. And that's where I want to take this conversation and the overall message we can take from this senseless and reckless killing of our brother. We must get to a place where as we achieve certain levels of success and elevate, your circle has to change. To be honest, women do this, in my opinion, better than men because, you know, women, we get in relationships and we start cutting off friends and, you know, distancing ourselves from some of our, our home girls and, you know, from certain acquaintances, whether it's a new relationship or whether, you know, women get married and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a bit more of a struggle for men than it is for women, I believe. Because men tend to roll oftentimes with some of the same brothers they grew up with. In so many ways, I actually admire that characteristic in men because it conveys a sense of loyalty and a sense of commitment to the people who you have a history with. Loyalty is an important virtue that can be lacking in a great number of individuals, especially nowadays. I've observed many times when you men start to elevate, oftentimes your boys can be a bit more harsh and critical. Let a brother elevate his money and stop running in the same circles as he once did, or let a brother go from being single to in a relationship or in a relationship to being a married man. It's always going to be at least one member in the crew who's going to be on some man you done changed type of energy as if change is a bad thing. So for those of you who are listening, one of a number of messages we can take from the death of takeoff is for you and those of you who have children to teach your children, especially your boys, that as they grow as you grow, as you elevate, as you take off, it will require you to establish some level of distance from certain situations, certain people, and certain low vibrational events. Most black Americans know that dominoes, spades, running numbers, and dice are games that evoke lots of emotions in black folks. The history of these kinds of games were and still are 
some of our community's avenues for unregulated gambling and hustling a quick buck. I can say here in the South, it's not uncommon for people who engage in these types of activities in the hood to pack some type of heat. And when I say heat, I mean some type of weapons. I remember growing up, my mother, she loved playing spades and hosting spade parties. I asked her one day what happened that she stopped playing spades. And she told me how she stopped being a part of those types of gatherings when one day she was at a spades table and she realized that everybody at the table was packing some heat. She never participated in that type of event after that. And my mom is a very social person. She enjoyed those kinds of events. The dice games and dominoes, they carry the same type of energy. And we love it because as black people in American society who grew up in some of the low income neighborhoods and communities, these types of activities can invoke moments of nostalgia. However, it can be dangerous too. This is why we promote travel throughout the black community because it is a way for you to elevate yourself, change your circle of friends, change your network, the people who influence you, the people you're able to influence. Network with people who are going in a direction where you would like to be. This is what I believe we can take from this brother's untimely death. When you achieve certain levels of success, stay away from people and situations that can lead to your demise. I'm not the least bit shocked that shots rang out as a result of this dice game. If all of the reports uh, that we have heard are actually true, it does not surprise me. However, I do not believe we should be so naive to think that it was simply a dice game that created all of this animosity that brought out uh, the shots being fired. I've said this since the beginning. This has to be a much deeper issue. And as police and investigators do their job, hopefully we'll learn more. It's just crazy to hear that Takeoff appears to be a victim of circumstance. He just so happened to be there. And in looking at the footage, it's like, what if he would have just excused himself and went to the restroom for a quick second or headed to the car a few uh, moments earlier? It's a good chance this brother would still be here. And that's how delicate life can be. Rest in peace to the brother. Condolences to the families and his true friends. People are looking to point the finger, but hey, my heart goes out to Quavo because that's this man's nephew. He was there when all of this went down. And regardless, this is something he will never get over. We cannot begin to imagine the level of shock and pain this man must be in so prayers and grace should be extended to him as well and ladies and gentlemen establish standards for yourself your children and the people you influence to be more selective about the company you keep be more selective about the situations that you allow yourself to be a part of may god be with you all and until next time